Oh, what is this? What is this one? Oh, I don't think she's going to cooperate. Hey guys, it's Tuesday morning and it's my like Sunday today. So it's my second day off. I had Memorial Day off and I have today off, which is great. Um, I, I work it, in being uh, somebody who doesn't work a traditional, traditional nine to five job. Uh, I work on weekends that are normally holidays for other people. So uh, I've been busy this weekend, but today I have off. I'm really excited and it seems to be really cloudy outside, um, but I'm gonna start this week off I guess weekend in this weekend by um, doing some laundry cleaning up the house Clover is here we are having a little fun with the bowl all right you ready go for it I've got my coffee this is my second cup ready to go and um, as per usual this is not fun for me I take out the pod and then I disassemble it to recycle this plastic part. I really gotta look into getting some of those uh, uh, compostable guys, but I just, I like this Starbucks caramel brand so much that I, I gotta find something to replace it with. It's so good. This is really cold. I'm gonna heat up in the microwave also. Trainer tips. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ready, ready? Yay! I'm doing all the laundry, all the like the linen laundry. So I'm doing the bed and the towels and um, the rugs in the bathroom. And my husband has put this bag here because um, he took him to a friend's house in Andover, Mass. And he's got a yard full of grass. And when this one came home, there were three ticks on him. One, he uh, got off his head that was good crawling on his head i guess and um that was horrifying he told me that story and then when he got home he uh i checked him very thoroughly i actually checked him like twenty thousand times he's so over it he had one on his nose that was had bit him and he also had one in, excuse me in between one of these little toesies and um we screamed and but we got them off <laughs> jaw parts and all and put some alcohol on them he does take a uh a flea and tick medication, which I guess kills ticks after eight hours after they've bitten them. I guess they just fall off dead. Um, but we were horrified and uh, it wasn't fun. So uh, my husband has learned a lesson not to take him into tall grass. I, I can't believe I he didn't know that, but uh, that's that's his deal. Did your ball go under the bed, bud? Is that the situation? Hmm? Did your ball go under the bed? Oh, it's way over there. The thing about him that's funny is he won't go under the bed unless I like escort him over there. Come on, let's go. Let's go get your ball because I'm not going under there. Come on. All right, here we go. You see it? You see it? You can grab it. Okay, go go get it. Go get it. <laughs> He's like a little Jack Russell Terrier going in, <laughs> burrowing in places. All right, you ready? You ready? Yay. I was worried you blow my reputation. But I figured it's not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first task of the day when I clean is always to do the laundry and do the linens because that makes a home feel clean and fresh. Am I right? Am I right, you guys? I love playing ball with Clover when I'm in the bedroom and throwing it in the kitchen. There's something just really fun about it. It's just so dumb. And being first time dog parents, you know that like dealing with ticks is something that is a reality, but we were not prepared at all and there was a lot of screaming and speaking of screaming the other the, my other half is here look how happy how happy to have dad back it's 11 o'clock and i take a break to watch some hgtv and play with clover that is what i like to do on my days off am i right am i right you guys love playing with your dog too comment down below i just love playing with him it's like one of my favorite things to do like one of my favorite pastimes anyway i'm putting the dirty dishes away and i'm cleaning out the fridge because i had ordered some groceries because i'm so spoiled by grocery delivery now i don't want to actually go to the grocery store anymore does anyone else have this issue it's like the train has already left the station. Like, I can't go back to actually going to the... Well, that's not true. <laughs> I have gone back to actually shopping, but uh, on days when I'm cleaning it at home, just chilling, trying to get, like, chores done, if groceries come to my door, 
it's another added bonus. So I am cleaning out my fridge, making sure it is ready to receive all of my beautiful produce and dairy stuff that I'd ordered. And I'm just cleaning out all of my stasher bags and then packing the uh, dishwasher for a nice cleaning cycle. And I'm making, I'm taking those big bowls out because they get so much space in the dishwasher. Oh my gosh. I just like, I can spit so much more in there, especially those like tiny food storage containers. Those go in the top rack and get so clean. So I just went ahead and washed those big bowls uh, in the sink by themselves. But we had ordered some Chinese over the weekend and it was time to give up on eating the rest of them because they had got just gotten too old. But I'm not gonna lie, they were delicious. Who loves getting greasy Chinese on weekend nights? I know that my husband and I do just sometimes. We usually eat pretty healthy, but like every now and again, we're like greasy Chinese, yes. groceries are here um, there's pizza in there frozen pizza so I'm gonna put that in the oven and um, get started on the putting them away Clover's gonna help you gonna help buddy hey Clover you gonna help put the groceries away yeah there's something about putting away groceries that is just so satisfying and makes you feel like there are endless possibilities and like new beginnings do you know what I mean like Putting away groceries makes me feel like I'm on, like I own the world, I can like do anything. It's really dumb. But anyways, you can see I'm putting fresh herbs in, putting all my fresh produce in, and afterward, it was so beautiful and organized. Gotta clean the bathroom real quick because I'm doing the laundry for the bathroom. So uh, let's get that done real quick. Y'all know I hate doing the bathroom. It's disgusting, especially the toilet. But uh, I'm looking to do a little makeover on my bathroom. It's looking a little uh, dull to me. So I am looking to redo, do a little spring refresh for my bathroom really soon. Keep your eye peeled to the channel. Let's go okay, I've definitely been having trouble with the robot mop lately. Um, she's just basically doing this and not connecting to that. So I've gotten it to work maybe like 40% of the time. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, I've replaced the battery. I have like charged it. I've taken the battery in and out. So I'm not really sure what the dealio is. Um, it's a little disheartening because I really want that to work, but um, alas, she's having lots of trouble. I had the wheel treads fixed. It does travel forward. Um, I, I tested that. It, it just came back to me and it's been doing this before I left. I mean, before I sent it uh, and now it's doing it again. So I'm really unhappy. Okay, I, I put it in some diagnostic mode. I like checked it and it was doing the right motion for a moment, but now it's like going crazy again. Oh gosh, come on, Rosie, do your thing. All right, let's try it again. Stop. Okay, so diagnostic mode these two okay and you can like okay I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do power key in that at the same time? What does that do? Anything? No. Okay, turn it back on. Let's try to mop again. Okay. See, it does the right motion for like a second and then it starts to do this again, which is very highly discouraging. Hmm. 
Maybe I'll leave it for a few minutes and see if it connects to this cube. It's been having trouble connecting to the cube as well. This is so upsetting. Okay, I just changed it, its cleaning pad to like the regular cleaning pad. I just soaked it with some cleaner and now it's working perfectly. It's connected to the cube and everything. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I have to buy a new reservoir pad because this pad doesn't have the reservoir that keeps giving it um, cleaning stuff. Um, it just kind of stays wet, which is okay for a room of this size, but um, it's troublesome when you try to do the whole apartment. So this pad with the water in it, or with the, uh, it has water, um, doesn't, it makes it malfunction? That's so frustrating. All right, but in the meantime, it gets stored <laughs> right there because there's a magnet. <laughs> okay, do you want to play outside? You want to play the ball outside? Okay, let's go before lunch. I also was really excited to take this opportunity to actually launder and dry the cushions for the couch. <laughs> I admittedly had never done this. I haven't even thought about it, um, but Clover sleeps on these, we sleep on these. They were disgusting. So I can say with uh, certainty that I put them in the washing machine and the dryer and they were A-OK. -okay. They were perfectly fine set up the Roomba to clean up some more because we love a good robot vacuum, at least she works. Anyway, I moved everything from around the sink to the kitchen island because um, I was going to do what Clover loves the best, give him a bath. Now I know some of you guys get really upset when I tell you guys I clean my dog in the kitchen sink. I, I'm sorry, there's nothing else I can do. We don't have a bathtub and um, he fits right in there and everything gets cleaned and disinfected afterward. It's gonna be okay. No one has died, no one has gotten ill. It's just, it's all cool. He has to get bathed somewhere and I'm not gonna spend you know, $75, $60 to take him to the groomer every time he needs a bath because he was definitely very smelly and especially after the tick incident, I just, I just wanted to get him nice and clean and fresh. He's really good about this though. He hates it, um, but he, he tolerates it. He's, ve he's very cooperative and he just kind of sits there and lets me do my thing. And I soaked him up real good. I wanted to make sure that he was really, really clean because the tick thing just really upset me and grossed me out. As you can see, I clean his face with a cloth. I don't actually like spray him in the face because who wants that? Um, but I do give him a nice good shampoo and a nice good rinse down. I'm sure he feels great after he's gotten a bath, um, but he he doesn't like this. I, I don't think any dogs like this. If your dog likes actually likes having a bath, <laughs> leave a comment down below because I feel like this is just the worst thing in the world for every dog like they just hate it anyway i just towel dry him i try to get him as dry as possible with his little doggy dry towel i used to blow dry him but i don't bother anymore are you clean are you a clean and fresh dog now yeah, you're looking very clean and fresh. Looking very clean. Yes. Feel good? You feel better that you're out of there? Yeah, I'm sure you do. All right, come here. Well, watch out for the Roomba. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> Get in this. Come here, come here. Get in this. Get in this. Get in this. Get in this. <laughs> come here. gonna bring a toy oh we got your ball okay you want to play with this and after giving him a bath I like to go ahead and disinfect this area and clean this area so this area gets nice and germ free I make a homemade disinfectant out of half water half rubbing alcohol with some tea tree oil and I spray that onto every surface and let it sit for a few minutes because in order for disinfectants to work you have to let them sit and I go to town and make sure everything is nice and clean
Afterward, it's time to clean the floor because I've got some paw prints now. And because Bona Hardwood Floor Cleaner is one of the approved floor cleaners you can use with the Brava, I go ahead and saturate my microfiber cleaning cloth with that solution and I set that up to go to town. Now hopefully this machine is working really well for me uh, for the next few days, but uh, iRobot did re release a new mopping robot, so uh, keep your eyes peeled. Review coming soon. I feel like there is nothing better in the world sometimes than getting into a freshly made bed with freshly washed sheets and pillowcases and all that jazz. It is so wonderful and beautiful because it smells nice and fresh and you know everything's really clean so making the bed and with freshly washed shoes is one of my favorite things to do because I know that when I go to bed that night it's gonna be good it's gonna be good And it wouldn't be a clean day unless I did a little bit of dusting. I dusted almost every surface that I could find. It's always so satisfying. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say. That's not okay. When you feel like you're fed up with heartbreak. So yeah, I'm using the regular pad and it's working perfectly. Uh, I I think iRobot knows there might be something defective with this um, reservoir uh, thingy thing, but they are denying that there's a problem because this works perfectly now and I'm kind of mad. It's my day off and I have virtually been cleaning all day. So this is a clean with me video. I don't even know what the deal is, but I'm happy that things are mostly clean now, so I'm gonna sit down and play The Sims for a little bit, yay. So after a little bit, it was time for me to make dinner for me and my husband. Uh, a lot of you have been asking about the cheesy beans that I make. So it's come from meal lime and I make this all the time. This is like my go-to recipe. All you need is a big old honkin' head of kale that you can wash and saute and some eggs and a can of cannellini beans and some Parmesan cheese and you're pretty much good. So we usually have these things, so if I can't think of anything to do, then I'm just gonna make this and we're gonna be happy. So um, we got some kale from the farmer's market that day and we're gonna go ahead and mince some garlic here. You guys know that when recipe calls for like two cloves of garlic, I always use four or five, you know. You can, you can never have too much garlic. Garlic just, I mean, fresh garlic especially is just so delicious and adds so much flavor. So like, you know, why not? And I'm gonna take half that garlic and put it in a little pan, saute for like 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my strained beans into the pot. And afterward, they saute for a little bit, let them come to sort of a boil. And then after that, I'm gonna grab my big old potato masher and go to town. I love this step because I bought this potato masher, I think maybe like a, maybe a few months ago or close to a year ago. Anyway, it's, the best potato masher of life because it gets the job done so quickly. <laughs> um, 
it like I I just love it. Oxo makes amazing things. And to serve, you just put your first layer of beans, and then you put your layer of kale, and then you put your fried eggs, or in this case, we actually poached eggs to put on top, and so they're like nice and runny when you like put your fork into it. It's really uh, amazing, and topped with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, and you are good to go. An easy weeknight dinner that takes virtually no effort. So good. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh, of my day off cleaning. I know this is the way that most people like to spend their day off, but for me, it's a fun time. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay.